Hi there, welcome to another video from Soma at Salvitur Botanicals. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about deodorant. We all understand, I believe at this point, that we don't want to use an antiperspirant. We do not want to put something into the lymph, the deepest tissue in the body that carries the most information, flushing it through the system. We don't want to stop the wetness. We don't want to stop from sweating. Sweating is what we need to do to remove the toxins and the perspiration. And if you work in a position or on a job where sweating is a, is a situation, then perhaps buying some form of a dress shield for your t-shirt or your dress or whatever undergarment so that you don't have to stop the wetness, but you can move it in a different manner if this doesn't help. So what I want to talk to you today is not just a natural deodorant. I want to talk to you about an essential oil deodorant. You cannot use essential oils neat on the skin unless you know exactly what the strain, the variety is, and that it's about the highest quality. So if the components have been altered, there's more likely that the body's going to have a histamine reaction. So let's take a natural deodorant that, say, has baking soda or coconut oil in there. If you have that as a product, your body, your lymph, will push it out at some degree because it knows that it is not required. It is not even an essential ingredient into the body. You can put coconut oil on your skin. You can put baking soda on your feet to help absorb moisture. We don't want to put it in the armpit. If you do, you will sweat more. So you will feel that by going from the antiperspirant to the natural deodorant, you're actually sweating more, and that's true because the body is trying to push that away. Now, let's take an essential oil that has thyme, lavender, tea tree, and for the women, maybe a little ylang ylang and a little rose geranium. If I take the essential oil and I rub it onto my underarm and I go like this, it's really not going to create much of a protection. But if I take the essential oil and I allow the liquid to rub into my fingers and I actually massage it into my armpit, I am now creating a seal. And with that seal, the sweatier I get, the more the pores open up, absorb the oil, draw it actually into my body, moving it, stimulating the lymph tissue, acting as that anti-carcinogenic and acting as a daily antiviral. The sweatier I get, the better I smell. My body will not have to push any of that material away, it will actually draw the oil in. And because the oil is hydrophobic, the more I sweat, the better it stays stuck in one spot and it will work. It does not dissolve. So until you put soap and you wash your underarms, then it will go away. If you want a daily or a second application later on in the day, feel free, go ahead, same thing, rub it on your fingertips to massage the armpit, Away you go, any extra oil that you might have on your hands, if you've stepped out of the shower, rub it on the inner thigh, the inner groin, also an area that is the sweatiest on the body. <laughs> Women's deodorant, men's deodorant, you can use half the deodorant in the formula and fill the other half with lavender for children. Great way to introduce body hygiene and a daily way of taking care of the immune system. S-A-V-I-T-U-R, Savi Tour Botanicals. Have a great day.